Greetings and good day, tech winners. This is Donnie here. We recently reviewed two products, the Ring Job Site Security and Ring Alarm Pro products, both of which have introduced a new feature called Ring Edge. Today, we're gonna to take a deeper look at exactly what it is, why does it matter, and does it work for you? Do you know the answers to those questions? Hopefully you will by the end of this video. So without any further ado, let's dive in and let's take a look. In the past, we've discussed how Ring was really the first player in the video doorbell space. And then of course, spotlight cams, floodlight cams, stick up cams, everything else that's come since then, including the first and second generation of the Ring alarm system. They've really changed the dynamics with this third generation, which is called, of course, the Ring Alarm Pro and the Ring Job Site Security, both of which include the same base station piece of hardware, which includes some new exciting features, including a built-in wireless access point, which is made by Eero, and also a new micro SD card reader. Now, why exactly does it matter that they have a micro SD card reader on this base station? I'm glad you asked that question. Let's take a look together at why that matters. Up until now, every ring camera lacked the ability to store video locally. That means that every time your camera has picked up a recording, it has sent that information to the cloud. Now that begs a bigger question of what exactly is the cloud? Guys, it's really easy. The cloud is simply someone else's computer. So every time that your cameras have been picking up motion, that information, that video file has been stored on somebody else's computer. There are other cameras in the market such as Wise that do have SD card local storage on the camera. And Ring has come up with somewhat of a hybrid solution here with Ring Edge, it's very interesting. So rather than having a card that's stored actually inside the camera, this card is stored inside the alarm hub. I definitely see some advantages to this, especially if you're talking about a camera that is placed outside. Depending on where that camera sits, it could be up high and you have to get up on a ladder to go and switch out cards. And then you're trying to pl plug the card into a computer so that you can take a look at your video files. Ring is actually taking all of that legwork out by incorporating this into the alarm base station. So another interesting thing here is that you don't have to take the card out of the base station to be able to play back the video that it has recorded. All of that video is still accessible through the Ring app. So why is this an advantage? There's really three major reasons why someone would want video stored locally. To store it on the camera itself means that you don't even have to worry about a solid Wi-Fi connection between the camera and your wireless router base station. That means that the camera could sit further away from the base station than really where it ideally optimally would be to be able to get an HD signal from the camera itself to the base station. So Ring hasn't gone that far with this solution, but as a workaround, they are building in that wireless mesh Eero system into that Alarm Pro base station, which we talked about in a previous video. The other reason why people would not want something stored in the cloud is because their upload speed on their internet is just too poor to be able to support it, especially if you have multiple cameras uploading at the same time. You know, I've mentioned in the past, I do have multiple cameras. I do have six in my fleet of Ring cameras. Generally speaking, these uploads take about 1.5 meg per device. So do the math there, 1.5 times six, we're talking about up to nine meg of upload speed going out from my home across my internet connection at any given time while it's recording video. So if you have a limited internet connection, it could be an issue for you where either you have a really poor signal that's going out to the internet to where it's storing that on the cloud, again, somebody else's computer. So this is a great solution where it's storing it locally. There's nothing that's uploading out to a cloud to be recorded there. It's all being hosted locally in your home on your network. Now certainly somewhat buyer beware here, or at least be aware, if you are out somewhere and you need to see those videos, it would be going from your alarm base station to your phone across the internet. So there would be some uploading that's happening there for you to be able to view it on your mobile device inside of the Ring app. And the third reason why somebody would want something like this is because of privacy concerns. Being able to have those recordings locally that you are in control of. Ring has also built in some encryption features here that basically if that card gets removed, from the base station is completely worthless. There's no way that anybody could even read or recover that video, including Ring themselves. Ring got some bad press a couple of years ago where there were people that at least had the perception of being able to hack into cameras. A lot of that had to do with people actually using the same email address and password to sign up for a Ring account that they'd used somewhere else. 
where those credentials, that email address and that password have been compromised. And they were just trying it on different websites and different services. And that ring account was using the same email address and the same password that it was on a different site. So people were able to get into those cameras. One of the great things that Ring has done over the last couple of years is they've enabled what's called two-factor authentication. So when you have to sign in to your Ring account using that email address and password, you also get prompted to enter a text code that goes to your phone. So not only is it something that you would know, like an email address and a password, but it also shows something that you have, which of course is your mobile phone to prove your identity. So Ring is continuing down this path of being very security conscious and giving people the option of being able to store video locally. So again, guys, when we're talking about uploading video, it does take significant bandwidth to do that. And just something to be aware of if you're on a limited data plan, whether it's uh, the cellular backup that the Ring Alarm Pro has built in, or even if the service that you're getting from your internet service provider is just very limited, you just wanna be very cognizant of the amount of data that you're uploading. And of course, the more motion that your cameras pick up, the more data that's going to upload. So if you continue to send those recordings to the cloud, those amounts of data do add up over time. So something just to be mindful of. So just to kind of give you guys a sample of the four of my six cameras and the uploads that they've seen just over the last 30 days. The camera that I have inside of my garage has uploaded 63 gigabytes over the last month. My doorbell, 62 gigabytes. Um, backdoor camera 56 and my garage door 155. So guys, this is a significant amount of data that's been uploaded just my cameras. That's not other things that are on my network like my phone, computers, TVs that are streaming to Netflix or Disney Plus or other streaming services out there. That is just the cameras, guys. This data does add up. So I can absolutely see the benefit of using this with the local storage on my Ring Alarm Pro. The other thing that they brag about with this is that it supports up to 512 gigabyte SD cards as well. So guys, I can see two strong use cases for this just to get in review. If you do have a slow upload speed from your internet service provider, and two, if privacy is absolutely vital to you, uh, of just having, just knowing that those videos are available to you locally, I can totally see this being a use case for you. Personally for me, I'm not necessarily in the market right now to upgrade to Ring Alarm Pro, my Ring Alarm first gen is actually still doing very well, and I look forward to giving you guys a two-year mark review for it very soon. I actually purchased it in December of 2019, so I'm coming up on the two-year mark there, and it's still serving me very well, guys. Um, I have uh, great internet uh, fiber to my home, so I don't have any type of data cap as far as my upload is concerned. Um, and I have multi-factor authentication, that two-step authentication enabled on my Ring account. So I feel very secure with my data and the way that Ring has hosted it for me. They have not had any type of compromises uh, on my account. And again, the ones that were used in the, the media even a couple of years ago, there, there were some explanations there where, guys, there's just best practices. Don't repeat your password with multiple websites and multiple accounts. Don't use the same password and always, always, always enable two-step authentication, also sometimes known as multi-factor authentication or MFA. One of the big complaints from customers over the years has been that there has been no local storage option for video storage from Ring. And guys, Ring Edge is here and they have totally closed that gap. So what about you? Several of you have already mentioned that you're either getting the job site security or the Alarm Pro. Are you going to be leveraging Ring Edge? I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear your use cases. And guys, as always, I appreciate the, the support that we're getting. Those likes and those subscribes, they absolutely matter. Likes and subscribes tell the YouTube algorithm that this is videos that are providing value to you and it lets other people know, especially people who are interested about some of these Ring products that we've been talking about. And if you have any other tech suggestions or things you'd like to hear about, Ring or otherwise, I'd love to talk about it. We've got a lot of other options with some home automation. Uh, things that uh, I've done in my own house that I'd be happy to give you guys tips and tricks and things that I've learned along the way. But for now, I think this is a winning solution. And guys, I look forward to hearing how some of you have been able to implement it into your own Ring ecosystems. That's Ring Edge. Guys, I'm Donnie with Tech Winner, helping you be a winner with your tech decisions. Have a great day.